Okay, so I'm going to be talking about um, the I group first. So it's going to be big I and little I. I so big I and little I. So they are not, um, they're not alleles like most of them are. So not, not alleles. What's another one that's not an allele or that's not the codomino alleles? Y'all remember? There's one more that we've talked about so far that's not, starts with an L. So Lewis is your other one that is not, not an allele, and then we'll talk about another one right after this. So little i, and I want little i. There we go. So it starts off with as little i, and then that converts into um, into your big i um, with maturity. Um, they they are branching carbohydrate chains, and so when you're little, when you're a little baby, you are born with little i, and then it converts into big i as it branches out. So infants or newborns um, are little i positive and big i negative. That's not what I wanted. So adults, what are they going to be? Little i negative, big i positive. Correct. Little i negative and big i positive. And then this happens at about two years of age. And these form on, um, on those precursor ABH chains on the red blood cells. On RBCs. Now, I antibodies. They are um, IgM. Uh, which, does that make them clinically significant or no? No. 
Nope. Not generally. So not clinically significant. They um, are weak and naturally occurring. They are a cold antibody, so cold reacting. You all know the temperature that, um, that cold antibodies react best at? Thirty-seven degrees or lower. Yeah, um, they generally react to um, anything below that, but um, four degrees Celsius is their best. So their optimal reaction temperature is going to be like four degrees Celsius. Um, these people also, since they're cold reacting antibodies will have um, increased red blood cell destruction um, when the person gets cold. And it's a um, an autoantibody or an autoagglutinin. And what this means is that um, the antibody agglutinates red blood cells of the individual producing it. So auto anti I um, is often seen with people with mycoplasma infections, specifically. Mycoplasma pneumonia specifically. Um, it often compounds with H, so an anti H, and in this case, you will see um, stronger agglutination. Um, in, in blood cell types that have more H sites. Do y'all remember which blood type has the most H sites? Was it all? Yep, so type O or A2, um, and then it goes down the line from there. And the patients may develop strong cold agglutinins. And I think I need to put that under uh, the mycoplasma. Let me do it up here. So 
So then an allo anti-I, what does that mean? What's the difference in an auto anti-I and the allo anti-I? That's going to be from someone else. So um, they acquired the antibody from someone someone else instead of um, an, an auto antibody. So an allo anti big I is really rare. And then an anti little I. is also rare. IgM reacts best um, with the cold as well. So at what temperature? Four. Yep, four degrees. Now there is a disease that is often associated with anti little i, um, and it's going to be I M. Do y'all remember what that is? I M. It's going to be your infectious mono, and do y'all remember what cells are affected by that significantly? They're reactive. What kind of white cell? Is it the lymphocytes? Yep. So um, infectious mono often has reactive lymphocytes. And so you can use that to remember the next one, which is uh, lymphoproliferative diseases. And then CHD is another one that um, it's often associated with, and that's cold hemagglutinin disease. Next one is anti big eye itself. So something special about anti um, big eye, and I can go ahead and put it under the, oh, let me have, where is it? it under here. No, I'll make it its own. Sorry, figuring out which one I like best. Okay, so something special about anti um, big I is it may mask clinically significant allo antibodies. So what you would do in that case um, is some kind of absorption testing. To detect the underlying antibodies. And now these can include um, an autoabsorption. Um, it can be an allogenic absorption. 
And these are all just different lab tests. or rest absorption. And that is what I got for y'all on.